is Ramiro with Carhaven. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the Holy Trinity, the triad of oil leaks in BMWs. We have never seen a BMW older than six, seven years without at least, but most commonly, all three of these leaks. Oil leaks are uh, something to be sort of concerned about. The, of those three, there's one that is really worrying and you should really, really fix. Uh, if you can do it, of course, all three need to be addressed at some point in time. So what I have here is a 2012 BMW X3. I love to call these guys uh, the unicorns. And the reason why, this is the F25 body style, the nice little sleeker body style with all the technology, nicer car, and with the older straight six M52 BMW engine, which is a tank of an engine. We really swear by it. It's a fantastic proven power plant, reliable, doesn't have any major uh, design issues, and they last for a long, long time. So if you can get one of these, is one and a half. Um, so the three leaks we're going to be talking about are valve cover gasket, oil filter housing gasket, and the oil pan gasket. I'm going to show you what to look for in the car when you're trying to look for them. I'm going to show you how they are fixed and how we do this uh, at car here. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so for the first two leaks, uh, a visual inspection of your engine bay is enough. Let me show you what to look uh, for. I'm going to use my little scratcher tool in here to show you exactly where these leaks are. So this is your oil filter, resides on the oil filter housing, which is right here. And the leak is in the area where the housing gets attached to the engine. So you can see in there, that gasket has failed and, it, and it's leaking to a drip right there. So that is a very dangerous leak because that oil can drip into the drive belt, which sits right below, as you can see. And that causes the belts to go gooey and to get sucked into the front crankshaft uh, uh, seal of the engine, which can lead to engine failure. We've seen that many, many times. So please, if you're gonna do one of those only, ideally do all three. If, if you're gonna do, do that one, that's the most important one. Number two is your valve cover gasket. This is the valve cover assembly right here. There's a gasket between this and this section in here. So that gets full of uh, oil as well. The telltale sign for that is um, the smell of burnt oil in your cabin. You can see how bad it is all over the run of the engine to the, to the way back there. And that uh, leak causes oil to go into the exhaust manifold and the, and the catalytic converter, causing it to burn and to you know, create that, fault, uh, that faulty odor on your, in your cabin. Uh, the third one is the oil pan gasket, which I'm gonna show you when we have the car up in the lift. Um, we recommend only using um, BMW gaskets for this job. And the reason is that these are labor intensive. There's a lot of labor and time that goes into this. Makes no sense to save a few bucks on aftermarket gaskets, which can fail in as uh, short a time as three months. We've seen that before. So please use um, original gaskets for that. For the valve cover gasket, we do not recommend doing the valve cover gasket uh, only, but the whole assembly. It's a little bit more money, but um, the assemblies are made of plastic and, that fa and they fail frequently. So might as well get it uh, all done, done and just get it over with and give you a lot more um, life on your valve cover for the same labor price. Okay, now we're gonna check leak number three. We have the X3, the Unicorn, the F25 with the N52 engine up on the lift. Uh, here's the leak in question. Uh, this is the oil pan right here. You can see that this is the pan that, ho that holds the oil underneath the engine right there. So that's the leak that we're looking at. Let me just give you a close up right there. You can see it leaking uh, pretty massively out there. This is a bit of a project because to take the oil pan out, you gotta get the axles out. So the axles are right here. As you can see, those go to the front wheels. So this is a 10 hour job approximately to take the pan out, clean everything out, replace the gasket, put it all back together. That completes the three leaks that uh, typically happen in BMWs. Okay, now we have the valve cover assembly out. We have cleaned the area where the gas gasket is gonna go. As you can see, it's all nice and shiny. And now we're gonna proceed to install the new valve cover assembly, of course, with the gasket. And this is the oil pan gasket replaced. No oil in there, as you can see. Gasket brand new and the oil pan is back in place with all the axles and the accessories put together. That's what you want to see.